Hello everyone and welcome back to Viral Banda. My name is Ali Shahid Khan and this is an another review of a custom ROM for Realme 3 Pro. This ROM is called CR Droid version 5.8 and I'm going to review all of it. Guys, this is the most hyped and most stable ROM for Realme 3 Pro. As we all know that currently there is no official ROM support for this device. But still there are some developers who are working unofficially for this device. So I want to thank all of them. Thank you guys. As this is also an unofficial ROM which is running on Android 9, the version is 5.8 and the Android security patch level is of 5 September 2019 and vendor security patch level is 5 August 2019. Guys, this ROM is having a lot of customization and a lot of features. And as well as this ROM looks very beautiful. As you can see the system dialects look something like this. And guys, let us go to the settings now and we will discuss about the customization and the features of the ROM. So uh, you can see this is Android Pie uh, recent application feature. The look and feel of this room is really beautiful and smooth. Right now we are on the system setting and there are colorful icons for each setting. So guys let us go to the main part, the magical part of this room which is called CR Droid settings. So here you will find every and each customization setting such as status bar icon customization and there are so many customizations for status bar we can change the style and the uh, size and position of the clocks, the dates and we can also change the battery status icons we can also enable network speed indicators uh, we can change the units of the network speed in megabits and kilobits megabyte kilobytes we can change the battery style battery percentage we can enable the battery percentage the text and uh, like as you can see i have changed the battery style to dotted now back to q style so we are having android q battery icon here we can change between many of them after that we have a support for quick setting customization also so this is a quick settings tab and you can enable the uh, blur percentage and you can enable the custom header custom size of the headers and you can enable the quick setting tiles from here you can customize each and every tiles the animations everything from here so the next is lock screen customization so with this room we get a lot of customization for lock screen we can enable the clock widget and we can change the style of the clock widget and the text and the time widgets we are having so much customization like weather we can also enable the media cover art so let me show you this lock screen right now so this is the simple lock screen right now now i'm going to customize it with the android q style of lock screen so guys uh, let me search for android q so there are two types q style accent and q style simple so i'm selecting accent and right now you can see it's 11:35. it is a text clock from stock android q also you can enable the music visualizer on lock screen and also enable the charging information and charging animation and also we can enable quick face unlock and quick fingerprint unlock as you can see right now it is working fluently next in the list we are having recent application switcher or recent uh, uh, screen switcher so guys we are having two types of recent style which is quick step and aosp and we can change between them so guys, next on the list we are having navigation customization so guys uh, we can customize or enable or disable navigation bars navigation buttons and we are also having support for pie so guys pies are the type of gestures we which we can swipe from the edge of the screen and they will be on the screen so guys let me transfer it to the left side and whenever we swipe from the left side of the screen we will have these gestures on the screen which looks very beautiful also we can add or or uh, remove the quick shortcut from uh, the Pi settings. So guys, in this way we can enable or disable the Pi and also we are having a lot of uh, navigation bar customization like we can change the height of this and we can also uh, change the button style. So right now you can see the Google Pulse here whenever we swipe up the Google Pulse, uh, Google Pulse animation activates. And guys, carbon gestures are also available in this uh, settings and there is uh, settings for changing the height of the navigation bar also changing the style of navigation bar from fling to smart bar and the normal ones uh, right now I'm using the normal one okay guys the next is button customization so uh, guys we can enable the custom power menu from here we can add the items to the power menu extended power menu we can customize our volume button to receive the calls or disconnect the calls uh, so the next in the list is uh, UI customization in which we will get ambient display in which we will get the always on display so guys we can enable always on display from here we can enable new notifications display from here and the next is guys notification in notification we can enable the pulse notification and also we can control the vibrator setting so the next is sound steps so guys in sound step we are having charging sounds and uh, launch music cap settings enable or disable screenshot sounds and also we can change the volume step settings from uh, higher to lower we can change the volume steps in miscellaneous settings tab we are having aggressive battery mode we can enable this to enjoy the better battery life also we are having suspended action settings wake lock blocker alarm blocker and we are having a cpu information dialog here we can enable the gaming mode so guys gaming mode is the best part of this room we can enable this to enjoy better gaming quality better performance on games 
it will automatically disable the annoying notifications and also the annoying sounds from background you can enable pocket detection feature from here so while your phone is in your pocket your phone uh, display will be locked and it will not get any uh, unfortunate touches now let's move to the quick setting tiles here so guys let me drop the notification panel from here and you will see uh, these type of quick setting tiles and also you can add or remove the quick setting tiles as per your choice right now we are having uh, so many tiles here like gaming mode and screen recorder so whenever you click on gaming mode you will get a toss notification on your screen that gaming mode is on and you can also disable it the same way guys we are having screen recorder here guys this screen recorder is as same as you get with the oxygen os so guys this is very similar to oxygen os this is also having an option to record system audio as well as microphone audio and you can uh, enable 60 fps recording with this screen recorder so guys this is the most useful feature for the gamers uh, so guys um, and we can also enable or disable many uh, quick setting tiles from here like we are having pi settings here extended desktop from here sound recorder reboot and many other customizations now guys let us check what is working and what is not working so first is night sight so guys night sight is fully working here there is no issue with night sight we can enable or disable it from the uh, status bar quick setting tiles you can already see the volte icon is on the top of the status bar that means the volte is also working no issue with volte or there is no ril problem with this room also i have checked the wi-fi and bluetooth features both are working perfectly there is no issue with any of these let's check if torch is working or not so uh, okay guys torch is also working from the quick setting tiles so now let me confirm if the volte is working or not so i will dial uh, customer care number 198 for from the geo sim so let me call it from the geo sim okay guys uh, now you can see the call is connected that means the volte is also working perfectly now let us test the camera so guys this is the snapdragon camera which comes pre-installed with this room and this is below our expectation the camera is not really good that means the camera libraries implemented in this room are not the best one but still you can make it a little bit better with oneplus camera you can install custom oneplus camera i'll give the link in the description and it will make it a little bit better so still not the best but better than the stock snapdragon camera come with this room you can also record the videos at 1080p with the oneplus camera and now this is google camera 6.2 you can also install the google cameras to make it more better so guys this is google camera a normal is working portrait is working video is working with 60 fps guys but when it comes to the slow motion uh, it lags guys slow motion is broken on this room so you will not expect any better video quality while you are recording a slow motion video because it will lag a lot guys i have also installed google camera 7 so this is google camera 7 which is working on this device uh, so the camera is working portrait is also working night sight is also working good video you can also record the video at 60 fps and 30 fps both on this uh, room with this google camera 7 as you can see there is an option for 60 fps recording but guys still slow motion is broken you cannot record the video in slow motion it is completely hanged which makes it completely useless and not a better one now guys let us check the fingerprint if the fingerprint is working or not so guys i have applied a fingerprint and as you can see the fingerprint is not recognizing so it fails to recognize fingerprint sometime but it works so let me unlock and lock it again so now this time fingerprint works so guys let me try one more time and this time also working so fingerprint works sometimes and does not work sometimes so it working partially we cannot uh, depend on fingerprint but yes fingerprint is working it is better than other rooms available in the market guys we also get the trusted face option in the smart lock settings of this uh, room so we can also use the google uh, smart lock uh, face unlock which is really accurate and fast so let me show you so uh, as you can see it is really fast and it is working perfectly there is no issue with face unlock so we get fingerprint working we get face unlock working so this is quite a stable room so guys the last thing i want to discuss about this room is the battery backup so guys this room is having the most powerful battery backup ever for realme 3 pro so i'm gonna provide some screenshots which is uh, provided by the users of the android room and by the screenshots you can judge the battery backup of this room so guys these are the figures of the battery backup right now you are seeing on the screen which is provided by the users
So guys, Antutu's score on the C R Droid ROM is really powerful. As you can see, the score is above one lakh ninety-seven thousand five hundred and fifty-seven. So now I'd like to give the final verdict for this ROM. So guys, if you are a photoholic, if you love photography, then this ROM is not the best one for you because it is not having the best camera libraries. But when it comes to the performance and the battery life, then it is the best ROM ever made for our Realme 3 Pro. So guys, this ROM also beats Oxygen OS DSi uh, in terms of performance and battery life. It will give about a full day battery backup at normal usage. So the download link and the flashing procedure is in the description. You can go and download the ROM, the G apps, and you can also see the flashing procedure for this ROM. So thank you guys. If you like my channel, please subscribe to it and give it a like.